Good morning, YouTube, all my family and friends. Um, this is Nancy with Get Lockered. I'm glad you're here. Um, please do the like, comment, share, subscribe. <clears throat> do you ever watch What the Hails on YouTube? Uh, they do, a lot of their ministry is restoring the love. Well, the yard sale I had this weekend didn't go very well. So, I was going to donate everything to the Goodwill. Sorry, there's a train. I'm waiting on the train. But anyway, I was going to donate everything to Goodwill. And then I was watching What the Hails last night, doing my relaxing time. And they were talking about a project they're doing with restoraging the love. And a thought crossed my mind. If I'm going to take this all to Goodwill, where people are going to have to pay for stuff that they didn't pay for in my yard sale, I'm going to do from 8 a.m. this morning until 1 p.m. this afternoon, everything's free. I've posted it on Facebook, on my personal page, on the yard sale pages here in the... here in the local community. And so I'm hoping that people can actually that who can actually use the items I have in my yard sale will come and take all of the items so that they can use them or they can resell them. I don't, it doesn't matter to me what happens with them once they leave my property. It's theirs to do with as they will. So let's see what happens at eight o'clock. Thanks for being here. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you. What? Okay. These are people hauling things off. It's a blessing. I don't know how, but her plan is working very good. If anybody can use it, I'm willing to share it. Oh. Uh, we were talking, even if we won the lottery tomorrow, we'd still go garage sale. I would too. It's fine. I'd still buy storage units. No one. You still get free stuff. Storage units always have free stuff, then you sell it. Well, when you, when you, when you can pay 60 or $70 for a storage unit and get thousands of dollars worth of good items, you know. We've been wanting to do that just for uh, um, storagetreasures.com is really good. We were literally just told about them yesterday. And there's also one called storageauctions.com. Well, we sell uh, washers, dryers, appliances. And a lot of what we do is buy, you know, stuff that is still in good condition. It needs a little bit of a repair. Um, and that's how we pay our bills and we thought about buying storage units to kind of help pad that well you know what um last week we got a storage unit we paid 70 dollars for the unit it had a brand new gas stove that the burners and everything were still in the box brand new side by side uh, refrigerator freezer with the ice maker in the door oh, wow. what brand new washer and dryer gas dryer oh. And plus it was full of all kinds of Disney memorabilia from like the real Disney, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy, yeah. Still in the box, new. Oh wow. New in the box. That sounds like it was a good flip for you guys. New in the box. And 
Why don't you uh, see if you can whip up something on the getting the washers and dryers that you don't want to move. Hey, that's great. Hey, can can you uh, message me some contact info? Yeah. Because when we get the washers and dryers and stuff, and we can let you be our outlet. Yeah, no, that would be great. Um, you know, we could work out like a, a price per point. Because if you, if you want us to pay full price. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Well, see what 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 about if I say you know we spend seventy dollars on the unit, you pay for the unit, you can have the appliances. Uh, I think that's genius. Does we, that sound good for you? We don't spend a lot on units. Uh, we you know would, most most honey, of. Them, can you come talk to me for a sec? Yeah. Most of them are hundred to hundred and fifty dollars, if that much. So they do storage units. But they get a lot of um, appliances. appliances you know? mm -hmm. So um, we were talking. What if, like, let's say they spend seventy bucks on a on a unit, and you guys they got a side by side and a gas stove. The other yeah. day we're keeping all that for our new house. But well, yeah. But well, I'm giving well, them an idea. Uh -huh. We pay for the store. What they paid for the storage unit. Uh huh. For the items. Yeah. If you pay for the unit, you can have the appliances. Hello? I'll even tell you where the unit is and you can come and get them. Well, that sounds a good idea. That sounds good. You enough. can be our outlet to get rid of appliances. Well, that's what I do. So, you know, all the appliances I can pick up, you know, it even. Takes a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, it does. And being 37, you're starting to feel it, you know. Have you used <laughs> the shoulder dollies? Yeah. I've used we, them all. We have shoulder dollies. We yeah. love them. I used them in the past. Uh, yeah, they're they pretty good. We we have dollies and trailers and all that, but our dolly I, lost its wheels. I used to do it all old school, hand, you know, just get it and throw it in there. And now I'm starting to fill it, so now I use all the dolly straps and everything else. And <laughs> we, we get a lot of stoves. Hello. Do you? Uh, similarly, similarly. Yeah, see, and I could, uh, I could help you guys get rid of all that kind of stuff when you come across it. You know, that way you don't have to try to put it up. Because out I don't, I wouldn't have to worry about if it works or doesn't work because you do the appliance repair. Mm -hmm. So. And that's what I do. I find stuff, and if it don't work, I just put it back there for parts and stuff. And then once it becomes too much of a scrap, then I just scrap, scrap, scrap it. The rest, so. Although we, for two years, we've lived there, right? And we've done that, just odds and ends, go in the backyard. I started complaining to him that it was starting to look like a scrapyard. It's five there. acres is way so, in the back, no one see it. So. I, we, <laughs> we took it out. We got two hundred and fifty dollars for a trailer load. Yeah. And at forty dollars a ton, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I use it for parts and whatever I can take off it, and once I can't, you know, I just scrap the rest. You know, my it. my uncle took an old stove, uh, like the kind that goes in the wall. It was an oven. Yeah. Yeah. And he I turned it into a smoker. I've seen people do that. I've seen people do that. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So, you know. Hey, Please that's for morning up. coffee. I don't know if that's enough coffee. Lord have mercy. I actually have a cup. We, we've moved it to El Dorado already, but it will hold a whole cup, a whole pot of coffee. I have cup. A that cup right there? No, no, I have one in there. Oh, okay. That's, that's a lot of coffee. <laughs> I can't lift it when it's full. She just got a. I actually got one like that for my dad one year. Mine says it's kind of a big deal, you know, on it. <laughs> I think it, mine says I love you this much. Have you guys got a card or something we can put up to call you? She can so message I'm, me on Facebook. Yep. I'm yeah, I saw message she... over our information. We actually don't have a card just because. We we'll do a lot of word by mouth and the internet okay, and yeah, stuff, but I'm starting okay. to uh, get come across a few people that ask for cards. So I think I'm going to start getting some up. You know. My uh, husband actually stuff? designs them. He's a web designer. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. There's another outlet for you. Yes. He can build you a website for a little bit of nothing. Well, there you go. I have an idea. Huh. I mean, we'll come back and get anything we can't get today, right? Yeah. But why don't y'all call us at the end of the night? Anything everybody else hasn't taken, we'll come back and get. 
works for me. Yeah. And that way you still get rid of your stuff, but other people who need stuff are getting there. Works. Yeah. There you go. Works for me. You're not really taking the brandy sifter, are you, small child? Of course I am. Hey, put ice cream in it with a chocolate then syrup you have on to it. Take the entire set. You can't just take one. Well, I never yeah, said there's I was set, it. You have to take a set. Mother. I, I well, that works out perfectly. I think that would be good. That would be great. Yeah. That would yeah. be great. Well, they give you some appliances cheap, and maybe you can make a few bucks on the other end. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, yeah. so that's what we do, you know. So oh. we try to uh, give us a few bucks to yeah. help I, us get the bins. Well, and Inventory and, is our hardest part of our job, yeah. is getting. You know, stuff to sell. When I get inventory, get it goes out the door pretty things. quick. So it's hard to actually try to, Seems you know, like get enough everything. inventory done. But, uh. Starbucks! I'm too, I'm too cheap to actually shop at Starbucks. So I just get the cups and pretend. <laughs> Works for me. I've been there once. <laughs> We used to be involved in a group in Arkansas called CRN. It's Creative Networking. Okay. And we would have meetings every Tuesday morning at Starbucks. Oh. And that was getting rather expensive. I just, I can make the same coffee they have for three bucks that I have to spend ten bucks. And that's everything, and that'll last me a week. I, I just do co uh, chocolate coffee, so I'm good. I actually had... Um, and I saw actually on Facebook yesterday that if you take your coffee and freeze it then when you make your coffee put it in the blender and it makes a coffee slushy yes or if you like iced coffee when it melts then it doesn't water your coffee down Everything's free. I just need to keep my totes and my folding tables. They just start pulling stuff off the walls. I feel like that was what could actually happen in this store. Well, my free sale has been going on for two hours. And you can see that a lot of stuff is gone. A lot is gone. And there's still a lot here, but we have somebody coming at one o'clock to take everything that isn't sold or given away. And they're going to take it all for us and we don't have to load it up and move it and everything. So this is awesome. This is working out really well. I love being able to restore the love this way. Everybody's telling us how much of a blessing we are. And really they're blessings for us. Because we're getting contacts for where we can um, be able to get rid of things like appliances and furniture that needs refinishing and that sort of stuff. We're, we're getting contacts for this and that's what we need in the storage unit business is an outlet for things so you don't get overrun but I'm really happy with the way this is going I have people that have messaged me that are on their way from other towns to come right now and I'm excited I feel good about this so thanks for being here keep watching and get lockered welcome back <clears throat> well it's the end of my give everything away free it's after one o'clock now and the very first couple that came to our give everything away free said that they didn't want to take everything right then but everything that was left i'm sorry i'm going downstairs everything that was left after one o'clock um they'd be happy to come and get and this is what my yard looks like now everything is gone i got to keep my totes i got a toilet brush so i can scrub the tables at least so 
restoraging the lev they are going to um restorage the lev after they get home and sort it out because they have a lot of people that are less fortunate that they know that can use the items that they took from here that we didn't know and um we were able to set up a business partnership so that when we get appliances in units they'll take the appliances and repair them and resell them and get everything going and then they can profit from our storage units and restore the love that way so it's good it's a win-win situation i'm really happy with the everything free sale we had today uh, we had a lot of people come and get things I posted that I couldn't hold things back and I did have people asking me on messenger if I would hold things back for them I said I'm sorry I can't do that I don't know what I've got left here you know because there's so much stuff everywhere scattered everywhere and I said you're welcome to come look and they did they came and looked everybody was so friendly I made some new friends today it, it's just a wonderful day it, I feel so blessed um, and I feel like I did something nice for someone today so that's my motto you know do something nice for somebody I'm gonna end my video here and like comment share subscribe tell your friends and we'll be doing more my father-in-law decided that every third yard sale would be a one day give everything away free sale so that's that sounds like a plan do something nice for someone and get walkered <laughs>